Will you be okay right. to like fuck a 60 year old woman? More. I right. know a man, he Send your has a lady, she's 64 maybe. Whoa. Seven million dollars. Hey, that's why you don't need to ask me <laughs> twice, fam. How many times you want me to fuck you? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Just Saying. Yeah. Singapore. <laughs> if you guys ever watched Just Saying KL, please watch Just Saying KL. There's this guy called Havin mm. that always fights with Jade on the right. show. Right. Not always. I mean, they have been on one episode and they fight. Uh, yeah. They, I think they I saw that fight. Yeah. yeah. We fight like off screen also. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Something about locking men up in a room and not be able to go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, and that specific man Do we fight? About. We just fight all the time. <laughs> what do you mean? Over random things. Can't get along with these Liverpool fans. <laughs> <laughs> annoying. But okay, um, today's topic is Do our past matter? Mm. And I broke it down mm. to a few points, okay? Number one. I feel like that's so wrong. Do our past matter? Like, it sounds wrong. That's our past matter. Yeah, I yeah. think so. The today's topic is <laughs> Do our past matter? Okay. Does our past matter? First one is <laughs> romantic history Which is important, okay? Mm. Who they were with and how long Is that important for you guys? Someone's ex will only matter to me If they're hotter than me <laughs> In a good way? In a good way? Yeah, yeah in a good yeah, way, yeah, right? Yeah. Like if this guy is like Fucking Benjamin King level mm. And now I'll be like, oh, fuck me. Yeah. How do I become Chinese? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how do I even sing? I can't even sing. Oh, you mean in a, in a bad way. I thought you meant in a good way. Because like, my boyfriend has dated like some popular girls. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I'll be like... So now you win. Like, and it's mm. me now. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? It's me now. Uh-huh. Yeah. So and like, I... Out all like, those other you know, popular girls. Yeah. Like, it feels good. Like, I don't want to... I mean, sometimes when a guy has dated a lot of like... Models. How do I say this? <laughs> like when a hot guy, woman? like hot woman uh-huh. that you see, you'll uh-huh. be like, you know that, you know, I'm very insecure because all his exes are so attractive. Uh-huh. Mm. But actually, you know, it makes you feel really good. Right. Does that depend on how secure you are as a person? Mm. I think so. Mm. Right. I think so. Because then you just feel like you're like, oh, I'm one of the attractive girls. I'm one of the hot girls. Mm. Mm. Oh, you know? okay. Like my, I get what you mean. My, like, okay, I fall like, under his list. So I fall in the same list as yeah, these like attractive people. Yeah, like my boyfriend only dates attractive women. Mm. Oh, and all his okay. Exes. Yeah, I get that. Because sometimes I'm like, maybe I'm not very, I'm, maybe I'm kind of ugly. But then I'll be like, no, but. Hey, no, la, all, you're not. Really? Yeah, like, yeah, then, yeah. But then I'll be like, my, if you're ugly, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But like, I'll be like, okay, but no, but my boyfriend, he only dates really attractive girls. Uh, okay, okay, but okay. what if he's like super attractive, but you see his exes and they're all like ugly? Uh, Would you feel a different way? Oh, oh like, means you're I don't want. the same way. <laughs> 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 Sorry, no, 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 it matters, it matters, it matters, it matters. It matters. No, oh, I cannot. Okay. I don't like to date guys with like unattractive girlfriends. Okay, yeah, like, no, you, you say that is the last episode. Or like but girl, <laughs> girlfriends that I do not want to be in the group of. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah, like yeah, if don't I don't want to be associated. Like I don't want to be like, yeah, he dated this girl, and then they're like, mm, and this girl, mm, and then I don't want to be part of the. Mm, mm, like all the hard work. The, mm, like maybe like very good personality group. Uh, I don't want to be one of those girls. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. Mm. I only got like another like what, couple of hot years left. Be or date a guy who is dated like super. No, no, no. The one that see? you just said, yeah, yeah, yeah dated ugly. ugly. Um, it will make me question why. Uh huh. But. At the end of the day, I think I'm just determined from the way he treats me. But it will make me a bit question, like maybe there's something wrong with him. Yeah, that it will I'm not make me seeing... curious at least. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Like what's happening here? Yeah. yeah. There must be something. <laughs> hey guys, if you guys are a millennial like I am and haven't visited the Science Center for a very long time, let me give you guys a reason too. Escape at Science Center is happening right now. And when you go there, you can try three mind-bending escape rooms each packed with exciting STEM concepts that will challenge your intellect and your creativity. And it doesn't stop there. You will have to solve puzzles and race against the clock because you will only have 60 minutes to escape the rooms. And if you guys decide to bring friends, bring many, many more because the more you bring, the more discounts you will get. If you guys are interested, you guys can book it in the link in the description box below. And now back to the episode. So an ex only matters if their uh, their exes are ugly because we do not want to be in the same group as ugly Don't people. Don't say we. Uh. Don't say we. No, I'm with you. <laughs> oh, you're with me. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> what the fuck? And, and it's not about ugly or not ugly. Uh. It's just like I don't feel that you are the right fit for me. Uh. <laughs> Right, I, I get what you're saying. It's like if that is your type, then uh, I'm I'm clearly not your type. I'm not your type. I'm not right. in this group of women. I'm yeah. I'm the kind of girl like I'm 
not you know the girls who are like I'm not one of those girls like not not like the girls no I'm a girl like okay. I spend a long time getting ready mm. I like to spend a lot of money on dresses you can always expect there to be like packages at your house with like new shit I've bought online I'm like very <laughs> Very feminine Like I'm extremely female mm. Like when you You know when guys are like Oh all girls care about Is their phone and makeup Yeah Yeah no. Yeah I care about my phone And I care about makeup And that's all No no it's not that's all <laughs> I care about other things I like crosswords <laughs> But It's all on your phone though Yeah it's all on my phone Exactly yeah. But But I'm very female So if you are the kind of guy Who's like I like girls to do makeup And then go for long hikes mm. Then fuck off Like we're not in the same group yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, yeah. I, I don't look like that I'm not going to be like that And I don't want to hear you complain About how all your ex-girlfriends Didn't take a lot of time Doing their makeup yeah. And how they yeah. didn't need to buy things online So basically You just don't want to fall In the same group as You're not like other girls are right yeah. That's what <laughs> You're not I'm like the other girls who yeah. say they're not, like not like the other girls. I'm not like the other girls. I don't know if they say that they're not like other girls, but I'm not like <laughs> those, those girls. I am like a, a real girl. No, <laughs> <laughs> I am like like ex, like we are not just not the same type are, of person. You are, you are who they made the Barbie movie for. <laughs> right? I love the Barbie movie. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Number two, uh, body count. Do someone's body count matter? And I think we touched on this a, a bit mm. the, in the previous episode, right? Yeah. Mm. So Jade says she has never been asked. No. She never. never and, and and I think the, the video came off very misleading because it sounded like I said, like, my body count doesn't matter. Mm. But that's not what I said. Mm. I said when I'm on a date with you, mm. my body count shouldn't matter. But that's for a different reason. Okay. It's because this is not an interview for me. This is an interview for you. You don't go to the boss and say, so what are your biggest weaknesses? <laughs> you know, you don't go to the boss and say like, so what is like, uh, like, I would um, very much love to ask my boss that though. Yeah. Mm, totally. But okay, you yeah, know, like, I get like, what you mean. Hard hitting interview questions that mm. they ask you like, oh, what's, what's your turnover at this company? You don't <laughs> ask them that question. So when I'm yeah. on a date, mm. I come into it with the mindset that this is an interview for you to get your second date. Mm. It's not an interview for me. So that's yeah. why I don't get asked it. But then it came off in the video as if I said body count doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah. So but it matters lah. It does matter. Okay. Who they slept with, does that matter? Okay, I think body count only matters in so far as that, like, I think I would want someone roughly with the same body count as me. Mm. The same experience. Mm. The same experience. So that we are, we have the same values. Mm. It, it, it only matters in so far as that I want to make sure our values are the same. Mm. And we're like sort of the same kind of people. And the way that we view sex and, and relationships are slacky, similar. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, simi- <laughs> like, because I've been in extremely long-term relationships. Mm, yeah. I'm very long-term. Yeah, mm. like, it'll be like three... Three years or four years Like my shortest relationship Is three years mm. So it's like Four years Three years And I got back to the get- Together with the guy I was with for mm. Like my first boyfriend So it's very Very long term relationships I want to just make sure That we are on the same page mm. With like The same kind of people That stay in very long term relationships But then again If I was A kind of person who Didn't really Want a short term relationship then I don't really care if you want short-term relationships and I don't care about your body count. Yeah. And then I, I, I also wouldn't, if I was the kind of person who had a very um, lackadaisical attitude towards sex, like I just thought it was like chill and like, you know, whatever, it's like body, sex positive, whatever. Mm. Then I would want a guy that was also the same. I wouldn't want a guy who didn't have a lot of experience mm. because I wouldn't want to lead him on. Yeah. Similarly, if I had a very low body count and I was like, really like, I want to keep this shit tight mm. forever until marriage, I also wouldn't want a guy with a high body count. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, so I fair. think it matters only insofar as like, we have, we have the same values. Mm. Mm. I, I don't really think it matters. I think having the same values is important when trying to find someone, yeah. But I don't think, I guess body count would be one way to try and, and tr- find out those values because yeah it can be like I don't know someone that's been a slut the whole mm. a long time and then now they realise that they don't want to do that anymore and then so values change over the body count as well is this the point I'm trying to make here mm, so I, I don't think it actually matters although it would be a good way to help gauge some things that are important in a relationship but then you're saying that it doesn't matter but then you're also saying that it matters no I'm saying it doesn't matter but it could be a good way to, to gauge like some things like it's not right. make or break la. yeah but it's like one factor it's one factor I but it, 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 at the end of the day it shouldn't matter is my position yeah mm. but also in that situation where someone's values change I'm not going to be the experiment where you're like maybe now I'll try monogamy 
Mm. Right. So I'm not going to be the monogamy experiment for you to like. Because this is the thing, it's not like hiring someone for a job. It's mm. not like making a friend. You only choose like one, most people realistically only choose one partner and try to stay with that partner and put a lot of investment in that one partner. Mm. So I want all the information available. I do not want to be like an experiment in this. Right. Make sense? Mm. Mm. It only matters, uh, okay, now for me, I'm a bit different, right? This might be relatable to some men, right? Like we, we some a lot of people say they think virgins are the best, right? Because you are the only one and you don't have to worry about these types of things that comes with people who has a high body count. And the things that comes with people with a high body count is that one day, even though like Jackie said value change, one day this fucker might snap back. Oh. You know, like just go back to that because okay. it's like, fuck, I've done it before. And yes, my body count, uh, sorry, my, my values change now. But maybe at some point in this fucking relationship, I've, I feel naughty. <laughs> and it's very easy for me to step back into that world because I have been in that world before. And what Jackie says is also true. It, it, while it doesn't matter, it matters to some point because it, it kind of gives you a gauge of who this person is and what um, this relationship is going to be about or what might happen in this relationship. Virgins, they also say, once you lose your virginity, it's a... It's a, it's a you cannot, you cannot get it back. Yeah, no, that's what. <laughs> and like, the second person won't matter as much as the first person. Uh, right? Uh, so they might like, oh my God, I love sex so much. I want to sleep with another person. What's, mm. what, 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 what's stopping me? I already sleep with one person. Let's go for two. Let's go for three. Let's go for four. Mm. But I, I don't always ask for body counts. I will ask people what they've heard of this person. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Like, I won't go like, Hey, you, will, you will not ask the source Is what you're saying Yeah, yeah. I, I, won't, I won't go like Hey Jackie You got hear of this girl No lah Alright I'll just be like I'll randomly bring out this girl And like uh, hey, You're not Jade lah Alright yeah, Then they'll be like Oh yeah we, we, we know her And if there's a bad thing If let's say she's really a hoe It will come out between men Either they will say This girl bro This girl can one bro it's, it's such a stupid thing to say But yeah, yeah This girl can one But it means that Yeah if you want to sleep Her can And I don't want my girlfriend To be in that Fucking Like Right you don't want her like, to be mm. Spoken about like that Yeah, yeah. And like and I, I don't know if I'm being Spoken about like that also Like you know Like me as a guy I, I don't know right uh, I'm sure you Like can I mean but all guys can Ooh, Which guy will reject sex Discerning Ooh, Yeah what if it's What if it comes with Like diseases <laughs> <laughs> Right Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and that's the thing Like guys In the real world man I'm telling you this I'm not even fucking lying And mm. I have had this conversation Many times in my life mm. Men will talk about you yeah. Men mm. kiss and tell mm. That's why at some point Body count matters If let's say Your body count is above 20 Above 30 Fam mm. You are under that list Of bro This one Can one Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm not saying that a body count dictates the value of a woman. Mm. Again, they might have be, they have changed. They have a past like me. I have a past. Uh-huh. My past doesn't dictate the value that I am worth now. No, I agree. <laughs> I think that's where like, a lot of people like mix it up. I think to see when, when, you, when they say like body count matters, mm. I think that there are a lot of people who say that thinking that like, so, so you know, I'm placing a value on this person based mm. on their sexual past. Mm. And that, that's I, very Andrew Tate And I feel like that's stupid. I don't even think it's Andrew yeah. Tate I don't I feel like that's very like Very like Just pearly things mm. Not not Andrew Tate But like pearly things She says that kind of thing mm. And then it, they say like There's an innate worth Yeah and, then, and they just look for the number At the end of the day right They're not really having the conversation That we're trying to have mm. <laughs> As mature adults Right like, yeah. like people that say Body count matters They are really just Waiting for you to say that one number And then judge you immediately Based on that number And that's That's just a stupid way mm. To live life Or try right? to like Determine some sort of worth of Yeah and yeah. I mean Like Judging you also can go two ways Right Number one is like Okay how easy can I sleep If you consider it Let's say your body high is count Mm. Uh, and average your, your, your own <laughs> body high is calm. <laughs> body count is high. Uh, an average man would think it would be easier to sleep with you because, okay. like, yeah, you don't mind sleeping with fifty people. What's fifty one? Mm. And I, and I think you when you say say things like that, like it's judgmental. It sounds judgmental, mm. but it's because it is judgmental. But I I feel like you should be judgmental when you're deciding like. For a long term partner mm, I mean yeah. this is your life You're playing with right mm, yeah. Like where you, you know there's this song It's like where you invest Your love You invest your life yeah. So if I'm going to make A life investment on something Yes I'm going to be Very judgmental mm. And I'm very sorry about that 
Mm. Actually, I want to say one thing. Like for me, when it comes to body count, it doesn't really matter. Like similar to Jade, I would want someone who has a similar body count to me. Mm. But then there are so many factors to be considered. Right? Like for example, if they're older, they probably have more experience or maybe they went through a whole phase even though they were loyal before that. But I also feel like in general, you shouldn't really take what people say as the truth because so many people can lie mm. about their body count. I That's can true. fuck like 50 people and just tell you I have like 10. Mm. So at the end of the day, you shouldn't really rely the whole judgment based on that number. Yeah, and you will never know the truth, lah. I just think yeah. I think men lie a lot, also. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah and, Based on what you want to hear. Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of men ask also because they want to buy Toto. They just looking for number. Fuck <laughs> 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 so like hoping that it comes up to 40, four, right? Yeah. One thousand and forty-eight. Yeah. yeah. No, and like I mean, women lie also about their body oh, yeah. count, right? And Jay recently shared me with this video of this girl who was twenty years old. Twenty, yeah. Twenty, 20 years okay. old, and this guy asked, "Does body count matter?" And she said, "It doesn't matter to me because I'm at a hundred. No, right. sh- no. So they were like, "What's your body count?" Two hundred people. Okay. Two hundred oh, twenty. Twenty. 220 at 20 No she 200 Is it the whatever 20 years okay. yeah, yeah, two, Oh I saw 200 yeah. at 20 years old Okay And so if, if we are still sitting around Saying like body count doesn't matter Then you're like Well It sounds like this Might be something Something Not right yeah. With you mm. Mentally Where like you're like Seeking validation mm. In the wrong places mm. And yeah. allowing people To take advantage of you Because you're very young mm. Then I would be very concerned mm. Mm. And it doesn't mean that I wouldn't date this 200 body count girl in the future mm. or give her a chance mm. in the future. Mm. It just means now I want someone with similar values. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, up next. Their past career. Does that matter? Okay. I I, mm-hmm. <laughs> I did a, a small mini game of uh, <laughs> uh, he or she is a 10, but Okay. 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 On on based on their careers, okay? Okay. Okay. So cool. Next one. He or she is a 10, but used to be a social escort. No. No. So what does social escort say about this person? You say this person used to be a social escort. It doesn't say anything about them now, but it says that at one point of time, you viewed these relationships as transactional. Mm. So I want to make sure that you no longer have that view. But then now I need to do extra work to confirm your new worldview. So if I if I found out after you've shown me that you're like a person who really values relationships, then mm. that's one thing. If I know right off the bat like you're a social escort, then I'm so sorry. I don't have a lot of time. Mm. Mm. Like I'm sorry I don't have time To give chances To everybody Every yeah. social escort That comes along <laughs> Like oh yeah You used to like Fuck girls for money Like let, let me give you a chance Like I'm not a charity mm. Like we should value our time mm. So I'm gonna make That snap judgment No But if you already Show me you're different And then I find out later You tell me like Oh I used to do this um, But now we're in A long term committed relationship I have no reason To believe you cheated I'm not gonna break up With you over that mm. yeah. If the girl you, wow, If I date someone Like yeah I used to be a social escort mm. It's a red flag, ah. Because a social escort is such a, like, in a way, a secret work, right? Like, not a lot of people know you are social escorts, right? Right. And maybe you're not a social escort anymore, but you can be a sugar baby. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and you're, I don't, if let's say you are a sugar baby and what you've been, what you're doing for the money, I also don't know. Right. Yeah, and I feel like if there, if there are levels to this, social escort first and then, like, sugar baby, and then probably something else And probably something else I feel like it, it evolves with you Even though if you decide to, to stop it Again, it's very easy for you To step back into it <laughs> what, if your, what if your partner Was a fin Financial dominatrix? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Fin doms uh, like, like there are men That get off on Just sending money Oh and being spanked. <laughs> Not even being spanked right Like there are people That have financial dominatrix Overseas that they've never met But like on the phone Be like Send me $500 now You dumb pig And they be like <laughs> Yes mistress uh, And then they press send Like oh, I see. And where can I find fin, this Fin dom Yeah, yeah. 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 Financial domination Like that is, a, that is a thing I've seen I've seen documentaries Of men like Really give up their whole life Like divorce their wife Quit their job mm. Like their fucking High paying job to become like a slave to the financial dominatrix. Where do I get one of those men? Yeah. I think it's because they have always had like that dominant power in their career yeah. that they want to feel something. Like giving safe. away power, money is like the the only thing that they can give up. Like they will make them feel something now. Like yeah. they already have everything in their life. They oh my god! Is there mm. woman like that? What oh, that one I don't know. Cause that I'll be texting her every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, John, I don't know. Some money, bitch. Yeah. That one I don't know. But <laughs> I've seen a lot anything of anything she wants, bro. Cheap. Fat pick, anything, bro. Yeah. Like in my view, that is like the final level, right? Like you, you grow from I don't know feet to spit to mm. um pit to whatever to to that. Like like you you build up your the, the client your clientele yeah. to, to until you get there. Mm. Right. Fuck, man, woman got it great, man. 
for guys, right? Like the boys that I know who work in the line, right. he said your thinking becomes different. The way that you view women hmm. as a guy, it changes. You when, view women more transactionally, or yes, yeah. You start seeing like, like when you see a like when he says when he sees a pretty girl like me, he's like not interested at all because hmm. he's like I can't get anything from you. Hmm. Interesting. Like you're a broke bitch. Hmm. Wow. Because I'm not gonna give him any money. I'm not gonna pay his bills. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, I would never hit on a girl like you because you're I mean, not going to pay my bills. You're just going to be a drain on my own finances. Like, mm. he doesn't even see, he doesn't feel that he like, he doesn't see value in He doesn't feel that rough. He, yeah. he don't got that dog in him when he sees yeah. me. Mm. But when Jokes he sees like cash. a rich, <laughs> yeah. Does, right? Yes. Yeah. But when he's he sees like, a, a rich mm. older woman, mm. yeah. he's like, ooh. Yeah. I've known people in the past who've had this like social escort friend, like females who've gone out with older men and all that. And from what I hear, it doesn't really feel like a very platonic like oh I meet you and then mm. you pay me to our relationship there's always more that comes with it mm. so I've heard of like people having sex or like you know giving a blowjob and things like that just to get the compensation in return mm. so I d- mm. at the end of the day I think it would be a dreamland like, if it was just oh I go out with you and then you pay me for my presence but from what I know and what I hear most of the time there's something more that they expect from you mm. so yeah. it's not, to, to, you're okay with that to, to part with their money will you be okay right? to like fuck a 60 year old woman mm. and then she'll pay you like Five hundred bucks or something. It, like, do you hey, think you could even find bucks? It's really clear. No, they <laughs> will, they will offer even... like five, three to five thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. But do you think you could yeah, even much do it more? Was... <laughs> more. I right. know a man. He Senior has a lady. She's sixty-four, maybe. Whoa. Seven million dollars. Huh? For hey, for... that why you don't need to ask me <laughs> twice, fam. How many times you want me for you? <laughs> Seven million. Do- Seven million dollars. Like, like wow. that we count. We we've been counting because. It's a club, right? So we can see how much money she, she gives him mm. in gifts like flower. Mm. Like one million, one million, Ferrari, like Lamborghini, like bought a house. So you're like counting, we're like, okay, the house is this amount and then the Ferrari is two million and then she, she hung like three, three million dollar flowers on him. Three right. million dollars. So what we're the counting. fuck are you doing comedy for, bro? <laughs> it's my passion. But to bro, be fair, <laughs> why am I doing this show? To be fair, he's extremely good looking. Mm. I mean... But but at that point, That's right, where like, right? this lady is giving you seven mil has given you seven million dollars. She's taking care of all your bills. Yeah, why is she still when, working there? When you see like a pretty girl, you're like, well, you're just pretty. Mm. That's all you are. You're just yeah. pretty. What if what if like this sixty four year old woman finds you, do you, uh. and does all of that for you? Um, you don't even have to fuck her. She just has to shit on your face once a week. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Scared uh. Right Like, like, this, like I, I, I feel like when For this 7 time, million uh. When the money gets to that level I'll I feel like yes. crazy Kinky shit yeah. Starts to come in la, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shit on your face Once a week 7 million dollars <laughs> Don't deal, mind <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Fuck no, But the difficulty <laughs> I feel like In their job Is to fake That emotional connection Right yeah. that's, that's the difficulty For guys mm. you can be like Yeah I'll fuck you out mm. I mean, But you have to Like listen to her problems About yeah. her dementia Like I don't Every know Every day <laughs> no, but I You gotta like sit down there And you just yeah. got a smile and when she's there and she's with all her aunties right mm. where she's having dinner with all the aunties she's like do you go get us drinks mm. oh done hey, hey, no, you no, talking no, no, 7 no, no. million dollars a year <laughs> a year though 7 million a year oh no no 7 mm. million but it's a full year you like you need to be a boyfriend yeah like you have to be her boyfriend. I mean, yes, it's a dream job, but it's not easy. And you can judge me for Stop my work. values, but my answer is the yes. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> seven million is a house in fucking Sotosa What the you fuck need are you to talking about? Fake the emotional connection yeah. and swallow the shit. <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. You know what? <laughs> Smelling shit, like you know, that's the highest level of like relationship to me, right? Like you okay. find your partner, you smell it, and then you okay. feel the love, you know, because yeah. like pheromones. And Smell shit. and uh, eating is a, is a completely okay, you different know what? mental state. Honestly, yeah. I would rather be treated like a potter potty one time, okay, than to have to fake an emotional. Ah, uh, okay. But okay, for seven point. million dollars, no, you have to, a man. Oh eh? yeah, no, no, no. Like so far, but he's been with her for a year. Yeah, yeah. Technically, it's like an acting job, already, right? Like yeah, by the point is like you gotta pretend you, you really like her but you can't switch it off you have you to yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what I have fuck off money eh. if people want to make fun of me yeah. ee she well, shit on your face eh. no this is the up. thing like, there's a hundred thousand dollars she could have quit up. after a million or like two million or mm. three million but he's still yeah. going like seven mm. million dollars in he's still faking it too, yeah, too deep in Wait, now you're got, addicted to old women and he has a wife and child oh that changes things 
Right. And right. the one child. You can't judge me for my value. I'm a seven million dollar store. <laughs> what the fuck? If my 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 if I am in poverty and all I have is looks, mm. all I have is looks. He's hey. not in poverty. Mm. That's okay, the thing. Not, okay, if not... I'm very poor, and all I have is looks. Right. Okay, right I'm just a poor. very unlucky person. The only thing I'm lucked out with is my looks and my nice body. And so I and I got myself a wife, but I can't support this wife and child. Mm. And the only option is that. Done. <laughs> Then I suppose honestly, I, th- I think that's a lie. Yeah, if you had kids, I, th- I think even if you had like a, a good career and whatever, yeah, you would still do it. Like, <laughs> you would still do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe sixty four is not. Maybe may, what if she's seventy four? It doesn't fucking <laughs> matter. You want matter? It doesn't matter. Ten, twelve million done. Fucking the fuck me. One year. I can't even make that in like one year five of your years, life, ten eh? years. No, you. But you don't think that after that year, once you are free from her her grapples, um, you will spend that seven million dollars paying therapy. You you, you should why <laughs> there's seven million dollars because she shut on my face yeah because she shut on your face you pretended you like that you had to talk to the auntie and, and yes. tell her, her friends that you think her I don't know her her ugly bush is damn like all this ugly fucking bush. shit that is happening to your head for you a know, year right they actually have to fucking do that yeah I've exactly and the good part about this like again like if people want to judge me right like oh this and that but now you know my value and mm. I think it's a high value 7 million dollars 7 million no, I don't judge you shit. for wanting to do it yeah. I just I respect you because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm yeah. like wow you're very tough, you're very bro, tough. That is you want to do it for 7 million dollars who I mean fucker bro I, you can no, you, you see, can no, retire no, no. Eh. yeah yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know where you're coming from yeah. but what I think <laughs> is I will like when someone offers it to me yes but then like I will regret it very quickly Mm. And I don't know how to like live with that. Like like that's just my my thought process. That like I don't know like three four five months in. Like what the fuck am I doing with my life? Like then you just look, bro. Just open the no bank. no. But this is uh-huh. the thing. Down, then down. Then POSB down. Yeah. Then you <laughs> <laughs> then you pick balance and you're like, okay, now I know what the fuck I'm doing. It. But he is. But you don't know that you're gonna get the seven million. That's the yeah. problem. Yeah. Right. Okay, it's okay, one okay, thing okay. if someone's sliding over a chair yeah. and it's like you just fake it for one year. Just do one year, seven million. Yeah. Like you gotta like just go and <laughs> yeah. lick a whole bunch of old vaginas that you're not attracted to. In the hope that one of them will come out with seven million, yeah. imagine, and you, it might never happen. Yeah, imagine you are one it's of the guys job, working at those dark clubs, right? And then you see your friend, your colleague making seven million, right? And then you maybe you only make two million, then you hate yourself, eh? <laughs> even though you, you know what I mean, you eat Not the same enough. amount of shit, but you make five million less. Even then, there's levels to this shit. Exactly, man. I'm sure, it right? It is. It's hard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's sorry, hard. sorry. I I feel bad for them. To be we honest. went on and on. <laughs> he or she is a ten, but. They've done OnlyFans or porn before. No, matters. Mm. It matters? Zero. Matters. Yeah, they are zero. What are they now? But they are 10 in every other sense. Yeah. Yeah, but I just don't like the promiscuity involved. I don't want to be associated with someone who, who is doing done? all this like sex work, to put it simply. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not... Wait, sex work is a total difference. Okay, okay. <laughs> How are you going to label it? Like porn? Uh, porn. porn is yeah, sex work. Porn, yeah. porn, okay. porn is okay. sex work. Because to me, it's like your mind. I don't want to share you with anyone else. Mm, and if the whole yeah. internet has seen your cock or whatever, mm. <laughs> then I don't feel special to you anymore. I want right. it to be like sacred. But you're still okay. the only person that is allowed to touch their cock. <laughs> if, if, that's, if that makes a difference. No, right? but then there can be girls well, online too. Yeah, like people can see. Uh-huh. But like, it's, it's still your cock, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> No, it's not. I think the moment someone else has seen it, okay. especially paying for it, that's a bit like, Odd to me, I wouldn't personally. No, not per- okay. So you wouldn't date like if someone who has done porn before, lah. No, I wouldn't. Because you don't want to be associated with that. Will you date an OnlyFans star? Like on paper, I wanna, I wanna say I would, mm. right? But it's it's hard for me to imagine. I don't know if I can handle the pressure at the end of the day. Mm. But like, if I ask myself right now, I would say that it's okay for a partner to do OnlyFans or have done OnlyFans. Yeah, ten. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. He or she is a ten, but they used to sell drugs. Wow. 11, no. <laughs> huh? 11. Okay. Okay. Hey, you know what? Okay, this, uh, does that fall under slimy? No, but, but they are 10 in every other sense. Don't forget. If yeah. they are slimy, then they are, they are 1. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, so, but this is a 10. We are thinking of like the perfect person. Yeah. Yeah. They are so great. And then one day you open their phone and you see messages from like three years ago. And it's like, bro, we got plugged. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, run. I'm a run. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, I don't know where com- com- uh, society went wrong. Mm-hmm. But like OnlyFans porn No But drug dealers Most people will say Yeah So mm-hmm. mysterious So cool <laughs> It's kind of bad. But this fucker Can put you in jail yes. No You said the past Yeah the past Yeah their past lah They're not doing it still Yeah But that's cool to them Because they used to sell drugs Listen if he's selling drugs now Is he's a zero mm-hmm. But if he used to sell drugs 
and he and he changed and he and he, and he <laughs> he's a reformer. Flip over yeah. a new leaf. I changed him. Maybe I maybe I. <laughs> She's gonna fix him. <laughs> maybe I did. I've, I mean, I have had friends. I mean, when I was like 18, 17, who were selling drugs, guys yeah. who were selling drugs. Actually, one of them was my exes. So I have been in this situation before. And you thought it was cool? Yeah. No, I didn't think it was cool. In fact, he even introduced me to this like underworld of drugs. Mm. So before that, I was like innocent, clueless, always a good girl. And mm. I was like, my mind opened up like, when I realized all these things were happening in the world. But at that time, I didn't see it as something where it was like a deal breaker. But now that I'm grown up, obviously, if someone I'm dating in my adulthood is still doing the same thing, then I have a different perspective. But they used to sell drugs. This yeah. Yeah. So does it like affect your score? Yeah, it still would. Oh. Now, yes. But maybe back then, I didn't give it so much importance. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to be very honest and I'm really sorry. I don't want people to cancel me. Mm. But if I found out, if he still sells drugs, it's a deal breaker. But if he used to sell drugs, it's kind of bad. He's like a 12 13. That's what I'm saying. 14. That's what I'm saying. 15. <laughs> like if I open his phone one day and I'm like, you used to sell, you oh used to deal coke? Yeah. No, but <laughs> porn, coke, okay, coke. Coke, coke maybe porn. it feels cool. What if you're, the guy used to sell vape? <laughs> yeah, they want to go. No, you sell, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, gum, gum, uh, uh, gum. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this kind, then how? No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm. Sell drugs, sexy bro. Okay. By selling drugs, you might have killed someone that you don't know. Mm, you might yeah. have killed two, five yeah. people, ten people. Did he put it in the mouth of the drug? The okay, drug like they say they made a no, choice to buy. No, but you are a part player. Okay. Yeah, where yeah. they sell. By doing porn, you have satisfied five to ten females, maybe even more. Five to ten is a very low number. If you are, it's like, if you're okay, a only fans creator, you only got five to ten people. For me, it didn't affect my score though. So. <laughs> let's put, uh, let's, okay, Johnny Sins versus Pablo Escobar. Okay, okay. okay. Which one? Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Now, Pablo Escobar for me, mm. now that goes to a zero, because, but that's because he killed people and ran a violent criminal underworld and <laughs> fucked up an economy. <laughs> it's not because of the drugs. Uh, so it's like, if you, if I knew that you sold drugs, mm. that's cool. If I knew that you sold drugs, drugs to like like you were dealing like heroin to people who are like on their last legs and doing other the reason why I'm not with you is because you are killing people right. it's not the drug mm. right. yeah mm. if you're just like running a party it's like selling drugs or like making like you know like doing like toilet bowl ketamine to sell at music festivals oh, that's really cool <laughs> in the past yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay right am I wrong I mean, this is against the I the mean, law, lah. But yeah, you, you're not wrong. <laughs> I I did, I have nothing against people. Who and I and I didn't say break the maybe maybe I'm talking about like guys in Amsterdam where it's legal. Mm. Okay, so maybe mm. not in Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair not yeah. saying that breaking the law is cool. Okay, if there's something about your past that people might reject, what would it be? For me, ah. Uh, <laughs> What is it? Why will people reject me? Yeah, because I have a very colorful past, man. Like I'm so wow. shiny. Yeah, like. Shiny, shiny pass. Yeah. Name it. I've done it before, man. Like oh, shit. shit on the face. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I mean not that kind. Like yo, seven million never done before. So mm. I, I don't mind having that pass though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You will oh, call, seven I million will dollar. Gladly switch your pass with that guy. Yeah. yeah. No, but I have a very colorful life. You know, I feel like a lot of people have very colorful lives, and I, I think I, I took full advantage of that colorful life. You know. Yeah, and I think it's also because it's like out on the internet. Mm. Yeah. So, Actually, so that's yeah. tough. But also, Singapore is a small country. Mm. And you like to date all the hot girls, and sadly, the hot girls no hot girls. That's yeah, actually, the show has brought me a lot of uh, troubles with uh, yeah. dating life. Like right. people will just know me, or people will just judge me based on what I say on the show. And I'm and I'm not saying that what I say on the show is not true. Hmm. A lot of it are true stories, but a lot of it, a lot of it are based on experiences and what had happened in my past. Right. So then people like be like, okay lah, you know, I I, I kind of know you from your show, mm. and know what the things that you have done, mm. and then it's like I then I don't have the opportunity okay. to show who <laughs> I am now. To show your sensitive self, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. You put everything out there. I think it's still colorful though. It yeah, would be your wrong. Life is still quite colorful. But it's like now. there's a lot of things that you don't put out on the internet that they won't they won't see. Mm. Like the business side of you, the like. Get I get things done, kind of mm. like manly side of you. Like you organize the podcast, you like get everybody in these chairs. Like there's a business side to it, mm. and it's very boring. So it's not on the show. But then they will yeah. never get to see that side. Mm. But then again, I don't think that they and I entitled. Like you're not entitled. Yeah, that part is not interesting, la. right? Yeah, it's not interesting. Yeah. But you're also not entitled to it. Like they should be selective. Because sex sells, right? So they only. No, I mean I'm <laughs> saying that they 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 are right to be selective. Yeah. But at the same time, they would be missing out, lah. But you know. 
they're lost. Yeah. Why will people reject you, Jade? Oh my god, so many reasons. But I feel like the guys that are down for me are really down for me. But the guys who really don't like me will really not like me. Okay. So for example, like there's a million things that are like plastic surgery. There's a lot of guys who don't like that. Right. Makeup. There's a lot of guys who don't like that. Makeup? Yeah, makeup. Like there's a lot this of guys who are like extreme. I like girls who are like natural. Like, I'm, sorry, I'm not natural. Um natural uh clothes. Like I like I like girl who covers up. Maybe religion, maybe Oh, okay. Like, you know I'm not very religious. Yeah. Right. So those are all reasons. Okay. Like I, but I don't mind. I think men should be selective and mm. I don't hate anyone for having a preference, right? It's mm-hmm. preference. Like if you come to me and you're like, you know, I hate these girls with plastic surgeries and fake tits and makeup. I'm like, that's really great for you yeah. and yeah. I Tell agree. Me, yeah, right. You should you should be. Yeah. Should but be what, what, so why why would you hate this kind of, plastic surgery these days is like one of one out of I every don't three know. girls. Yeah, but some men are just but very, you, can, you know. You can have random things you don't like. Like, true. they're entitled to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, if you okay, don't true. like me because you don't like me, that's fine. There's a lot of things probably about that person I didn't like that mm. I didn't say aloud. Okay, <laughs> uh, last question. Is there Boy. something <laughs> Is there something in your past that you're proud of? Is it like relationship-wise? or just Not anything. I mean, like, you know, like, you go on a date and you're like, I used to be. Okay, okay, I have one. Like, for me, very similar to Jackie because I was the head of student council. <gasps> Fucking lame. So, what is this? What? what? Right. In, in TP? No, no, no. In secondary school. But it doesn't count. Wait, wait. I'm not done. Huh? So, I was also in floorball playing for the sports team. Wow. Oh, and then, okay. in addition, wow. I was the house leader. Wow. Wow. And in addition, I won first place in cross country. So, I had okay. so many attributes at that time. I was like, these are all like, you know, my green card's mm. like, ooh, look at me, I'm so accomplished. <laughs> there is. But I cannot use it anymore, like, because <laughs> it, it was quite long ago. Mm. I'll yeah. get that ready. This was like, what, 10 years ago? No, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come to the end of this episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys have an interesting past, mm. please share it with us. Yeah, please comment <laughs> below what are the, what are some things that you're proudest past. of in your past. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you guys have anything you like to talk about, let us know in the comment section below. If not, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.